people are used to hearing that only massive, towering structures stand out when viewed from space, mountains, deserts, sprawling cities, or the world's longest walls. Yet the image that stunned the world recently didn't feature any of these giants. Instead, it captured a small, dark, cube-shaped sanctuary glowing like a diamond in the night, a sight many never imagined could be visible from orbit the moment this photograph appeared online. It immediately stirred a mix of astonishment and curiosity. It wasn't just another satellite snapshot. It was a look at Maka from the vantage point of an astronaut circling hundreds of kilometers above Earth, showing the radiant heart of Masjid Al-Haram illuminated against the surrounding valleys. The image was shared by Donald Pettit, a veteran astronaut and photographer who had just returned from a 220-day mission aboard the International Space Station. He posted it on social media with a caption noting that the bright point at the center was Islam's most sacred site, visible even from space. The picture went viral almost instantly. Viewers from around the world found themselves captivated, not only by the city lights of Makkah stretching across the valley, but by a single luminous spot that stood out more brightly than anything around it. Many were struck by how the Kaaba appeared almost jewel-like, shimmering at the core of the mosque complex. Some described the site as otherworldly, an unexpected glow that seemed to rise above the night's darkness and reach all the way to orbit. Others turned to technology for explanations, asking artificial intelligence tools why the Kaaba appeared so radiant. The answers were simple. The intense illumination was the result of the powerful floodlights that surround the site designed to keep the area brightly lit throughout the night for millions of worshippers. Even so, knowing the technical reason didn't lessen the emotional effect the image carried. For many viewers, the sight of this sacred structure shining so distinctly created a moment of quiet reflection, an impression that some places hold significance far beyond their physical size. The photograph itself reveals the sweeping landscape of Makkah, a city nestled among rugged mountains. At its center lies the vast expanse of the Grand Mosque, and within it, the Kaaba, small in shape but immense in spiritual weight, is standing beneath a blanket of powerful lights. Those lights, constantly reflecting off the black-covered structure, create a visible point of brilliance. At night, their beams scatter into the atmosphere, and from the sensitive cameras aboard the International Space Station, the effect becomes unmistakable, a radiant focal point unlike anything around it. Cities like Makkah produce clusters of illumination, seen from orbit, thanks to thousands of LEDs and sodium lamps. But in this case, it was the concentration of lights around a single sacred location that produced the unique glow which millions found mesmerizing. The Kaaba, the direction toward which Muslims around the world pray, draws countless visitors every year. During peak seasons, the Grand Mosque overflows with pilgrims, a continuous stream of people coming for Hajj or Umrah, adding to the vibrant energy surrounding the structure day and night. For Donald Pettit, this was not the first time a photograph of his sparked widespread attention. Known for capturing celestial trails and long exposure space imagery, he has a long history of sharing breathtaking perspectives from orbit. His journey to space in 2024 began aboard the Soyuz MS-26, launched alongside two Russian crewmates. Their mission spanned months as they worked through Expedition 71 and later Expedition 72, conducting research and documenting Earth from above. During the 2020 days they spent circling the globe, they completed more than 3,500 orbits. From their vantage point, they witnessed everything, storms, cities, coastlines, deserts, and occasionally rare sites that left even seasoned astronauts pausing in wonder Pettit's scientific work ranged. From studying how plants grow in microgravity to exploring how fire behaves without Earth's pull. Yet, despite the technical demands of the mission, moments like the glowing view of Maka reminded him and the world of the deep human connection that persists between Earth and those who leave it. When the crew finally returned to the Kazakh step on April 20th, the landing marked not only the end of a long mission, but also Pettit's 70th birthday, making him the oldest active astronaut to return from space, a milestone that added an emotional layer to the story behind his viral image. Once the photograph reached the public, reactions poured in. Some viewers described the glow as symbolic, as if the universe itself were acknowledging the sanctuary's significance. Others simply marveled at how a place so small, compared to mountains and oceans, could shine so vividly from such a great distance. Among the many responses, one sentiment echoed repeatedly, that seeing a sacred place from so far above invites a rare sense of humility. For many, the image became more than just a photograph. It became a reminder that, across beliefs and backgrounds, the world still holds places that inspire awe, reverence, and a shared sense of wonder. 